Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. All right, in today's video, we are gonna be moving on with the Subi build. Summer's just around the corner and we need to finish this car up. There's a lot of things that I wanna take care of before summer gets here. And like I said, in one of my previous videos, we are not able to move forward with the painting process. Now the whole point of me repainting the car is because I want a really nice clean car. There's some things on the car that I need to get either repainted or repolished or even repowder coated to look better and newer again. Cause I want this car to be recognized as a really nice and clean car in today's video we're gonna be cleaning the exhaust on my car now i know the exhaust gets dirty and it's probably a lot one of the things that's gonna get even dirtier last year i decided to do a couple donuts in the grass it got really dirty and muddy and i power washed it later that day but a lot of the things got embedded into the exhaust so i figured that later on on the year i would just clay and polish it but like i said in one of my previous videos we are not able to move forward with the painting process so we're gonna take care of other stuff that need to be taken care of on the car and the exhaust is one of those things. Now, for all of you guys that don't know, I have a Tomei Kaipak exhaust on my car. It is a single exit, so it does bring a lot of attention to a single spot in the rear end. But the exhaust isn't as clean as it could be. But yeah, basically in today's video, we are going to be polishing the Tomei Kaipak exhaust. The exhaust is one of my most favorite car parts that I have on my car. It stands out. A lot of people, when they see it, they already know what it is. And it's just something that's really hyped and I really like it. That's why I bought it for my car. I was one of those fanboys that just really wanted it for my car and I have it. And now that I have it, I want to make it as clean as possible. I am going to show you guys the process and some of the things that I am going to be using to bring back that shine on the exhaust. Everything that we're going to be using in this video is going to be linked down below for you guys. Now, like I said, a lot of the dirt is embedded in the exhaust and I wasn't able to pressure wash it off. So I figured we were going to have to take it off and clay it. Chemical guys sell a lot of options when it comes to clay bars. They have a soft clay bar, a medium clay bar and a heavy duty clay bar since we are going to be working with metal i figure i would just go ahead and order the chemical guys heavy duty clay bar that is the clay bar that we are going to be using to try and remove everything that is embedded in the exhaust i'm pretty sure that the clay bar is going to do the job just right again the clay bar is made for paint but since we're working with metal i'm pretty sure that it's going to be just fine i'm hoping that with the heavy clay bar we are able to remove everything that's embedded in the exhaust which i'm pretty sure it is going to since we are working with clay bars you do need some kind of lubricant i went ahead and ordered this chemical guy clay luber you are also able to use soap and water the only reason why i chose to order the clay luber is because they had a good deal while i was buying the clay bar if i bought both of them it was going to be a little cheaper if not i would have just used soap and water but yeah that is what we're going to be using to clay the exhaust now for the polishing part i've been wanting to buy this product for so long i read the reviews on it and they have all been really good but i just haven't had a reason to order this product and since we are working with metal now i am able to order it but this is the heavy metal polish from chemical guys this is a metal polish so it is made for metal like i said i've been wanting to buy it for the longest and I didn't really have a reason why I should buy it. And now that we're working with the exhaust and we got to find something to polish it, it is the perfect time to buy it. And then when I was ordering the heavy metal polish in the recommendation options, there was this wheel buffing pad. I figured since we are going to be working with the exhaust, this would be perfect for the job. It does allow me to fit my hand in here and use it kind of like a glove and just kind of help me make the job a little easier. I'll have this link down below as well. But yeah, this is what we're going to be using to buff the metal polish in to the exhaust we are also going to be using this walmart blue buffing pad there's nothing special about this it is just a microfiber applicator and we are also going to be using this to buff the metal polish into the exhaust now since we are going to have to remove the exhaust to polish it we are going to have to replace the exhaust gasket so the other day i came across this green speed high performance exhaust gasket it is made for a three inch exhaust setup and that is exactly what i have i didn't really need this this is just a Something that i wanted to have on my car it was twenty dollars compared to the oem one which is eight dollars the only reason why i bought this is because again i read the reviews and i read that this prevents prevents 
leaks from happening in your exhaust again i have an aftermarket exhaust and downpipe so having an aftermarket gasket would just be the right choice to make so yeah i went ahead and ordered this green speed exhaust gasket now i went ahead and put the car on jack stands the other day because i did know we were gonna be working under the car so i just wanted to get a head start but right now all we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the exhaust it should be really simple it is just being held in by two bolts and a couple hangers now the two bolts are gonna be in the middle of the car they are connected to the downpipe it is going to be those two bolts right there there is going to be one on the right side and then one on the left side after we remove those two bolts the only thing that is going to be holding the exhaust is going to be the hangers so i'm just going to go ahead and remove the exhaust first like i said there's only two bolts holding the exhaust and three hangers so let's go ahead and take care of that right now was having some issues with this specific hanger so since we are going to be replacing them i just went ahead and cut it from here what i'm gonna do now is disassemble the exhaust now the pieces are connected by a clamp and they're also being pulled against each other with this spring now there is gonna be four strings there's gonna be two here then two on that side then we're just gonna go ahead and loosen up the clamp we also got to remove this piece right here. This is just going to be an exhaust hanger. But not only that, when I place this on here, I place it in a hurry. So when we put it back on the car, we're going to make sure that we put it in there nice and straight. But yeah, right now we're just going to go ahead and disassemble it. Alright, now we got the whole exhaust disassembled, so it should be a lot easier for us to polish it. I don't know if I'm gonna polish the clamps or not. I'm still debating if I should do that or not. I am gonna give them a clean, but I just don't know if I should polish it. So now the next step we're gonna do is we're just gonna wipe this exhaust down with soapy water and a rag. We're just gonna try and remove as much dirt as possible before we start the polishing process. So that is what we're gonna do right now.
that was just after giving it a quick rinse with soap and water i went ahead and used this wheel detail brush on the exhaust to kind of agitate the soap a little more but while i was cleaning it i realized that these two pieces over here you're not gonna really see those pieces so i think i'm just gonna leave those how they are but for this specific piece i think we are gonna clay and polish we are not gonna be claying or polishing those two because those you can't really see on the car but this is the tip so this always is gonna be showing so we are going to clay this down and then once we clay it down we can go ahead and polish it all i did to clean it was soapy water and then i have this chemical guys i think it's called spray buddy i used that to just go ahead and spray it on there and then like i said i used my wheel detail brush to kind of add to agitate the surface a little more what i'm gonna do next is go ahead and use the clay bar and clay loop to clay down this part of the exhaust again since this part is going to be sticking out and this is just basically what everybody's going to see this is the only part that we're going to be claying and polishing So this is how it looks after we clay it as you guys can see the exhaust is already looking even better as you can see on this part of the exhaust i didn't really clay it at all i just left it how it was all of that dirt embedded into the exhaust just how it is there it was exactly like that all over this tip just because i did a couple donuts in the dirt we're gonna go ahead and now apply our heavy metal polish that is gonna be basically the last step again i am gonna be using the chemical guys wheel applicator so hopefully this makes it a lot easier but i'm just gonna buff it into the exhaust and then i'm gonna wipe it all off with these microfiber towel Just like that the exhaust is now nice and clean all we gotta do is put her back on the car i can't wait to put her back on the car guys i know the car is not complete right now but seeing the nice clean exhaust there is just gonna motivate me even more but i want to show you guys something so these are the bolts that come with the exhaust they got really rusted and corroded so i think i am gonna go to the hardware store and get these replaced i am gonna try and find some that are a little thicker that way when i put them back on the car i can tighten it a little more and obviously if they're a little thicker they're gonna be a little bit more durable not only that i don't want these back on the car they're just gonna throw the exhaust off these two right here you're not gonna be able to see but this one right here is located right around the exhaust it's the one that goes around the hanger so it sits right here that is the main one that i want to get replaced just imagine the exhaust and then this little rusted bolt just there throwing it off so we're gonna go to the hardware store really quick and get these replaced after we get the new bolts we can come back and put the exhaust back on the car i also got the exhaust laid out over there with all of the clamps and springs so that that way when we come back we can just put it on right away and see how it looks Thank you. 
find every single bolt that we were looking for. We were able to find the two exhaust bolts that connect to the downpipe and then we were able to replace the exhaust hanger bolt. Like I told you guys, I was going to try and look for a longer and thicker one. I was able to find just that. I went ahead and test fit this already on the exhaust gasket and on the exhaust itself. It does fit. It does go through. So I am very happy that we are going to be running these over these. I ended up buying both of them just in case this one didn't fit. I didn't want to have to run back and then buy this one again. So I ended up buying both. They come in a pair of twos. So keep that in mind whenever you guys are looking for them. But luckily for the exhaust hanger, I only needed one. Again, they come in a pair of twos. So we have a spare one of these. But yeah, this is going to be called a flange bolt and a flange nut. But now that we got these, we can just go ahead and put the exhaust back on the car. <laughs> Just like that, we are completely done. We were able to put the exhaust back in one piece. Not only that, the exhaust looks so good. It has a couple scratches, but the shine is back. The blue is back. And that's really all I really wanted. I was also able to put the hanger back in there as well. The first time when I put this on the car, I ended up putting this thing in there backwards. Not only that, this thing was kind of crooked because we put it in in a rush when we did put it on the car. But putting it by pieces was a little easier than when I put it in by one piece at a time. The only issue that we got to address now is I cut one of the hangers because I wasn't able to remove the exhaust. It's not a big deal. We are going to have to get that hanger replaced though. We might as well go aftermarket. It looks way better than before. We were able to remove everything that was embedded in the exhaust, everything that was stuck in there. Now, every time that we wash it, we are going to have to use this metal polish. I give this a good 8 out of 10. I thought it was going to remove some scratches, but all it really did is bring back a little shine. The clay bar itself is a 10 out of 10. It did the job. I honestly didn't think it was going to remove a lot of it, but it removed every single thing that was embedded in the exhaust. But yeah, this stuff are going to be linked down below for you you guys in case any of you guys want to buy that but with that being said that is going to be the end of today's video it is getting kind of late and kind of cold so i think i'm just gonna call it a night like i said i want this car to be really clean and just having a really dirty exhaust isn't part of my plan i'm really happy with how it looks and honestly i'm gonna try and keep it as clean as possible now so that we don't have to let it get as bad as how it was we're definitely not gonna be doing any more donuts in the grass as well but i am trying to get this car done before summer gets here so i'm gonna try and and get everything up today to where it needs to be so that by the time summer gets here i am able to just paint the car and attend to all the car shows there's a lot of things that we still got to get done on the car and we're gonna try and get that done before summer but again if you guys like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one stay tuned